We have worked with these wild cards a little bit, but I'd like to explain them a little bit more. We haven't really used one of them. So uh, let's talk about how these wild cards work. Wild cards are just characters that stand for any other character. The asterisk stands for zero or more characters in some position in whatever you're typing. And the question mark stands for one and only one character, not zero characters, one and only one, uh, in the position in which it stands. So let's uh, experiment with that a little bit. So let's go get child item. So I'm going to get a, basically a directory of this system32 folder here. And I will say p e asterisk so that means anything that starts with p and then has e after it and then anything after that and so i will get everything that starts with p e all right so again remember these positions these are literal characters p and e and then a star now let's say i want all of just the executables how could i do that well, I can go get child item, anything with a dot after it, and then exe. So I get all of the executable files. And there they all are. I have a whole bunch of them here. But all the dot exes are now here. If I put stars in front of and behind it, then I will get uh, everything that has it inside. So let's do get child item star set star and everything that has an set somewhere in it like that is going to show up and it's in the middle notice now if i just change that a little bit um, for example let's let's say that i take the uh, star off the back now it's going to have anything in front of it but it has to end in the word set well i don't have anything that ends in the word set um, how about if I do it with a star at the back of it, and I'll take that off the front. It means it has to begin with SET. And now I have everything that begins with SET. So notice zero or more characters. Not one or more, but zero or more. Now let's look at the question mark. The question mark means exactly one character. So here I'm going to go get child item. And let's try, um, first I want to have anything at the beginning and then um, S, and then some character, and then T, and then anything after that. So it has either SAT, SBT, SCT, SDT, and so on. And sure enough, I have all of that, um, all of those options in here. Let's see, here's SIT, that, was, uh, that showed up in that. Uh, what, is, uh, what was it in this one? There's got to be S something T in here somewhere. SKT, desktop. All right, so uh, that's what how the um, question mark is used, but it's only one character. Uh, if I had put an asterisk here, it could be an S over here and then a T over here somewhere. Let's try that. So anything that has an S first and then a T later on would show up, and you can see this is quite a bit longer list as a result. That's how those wild cards are used. Now there is one other wild card that I'm going to save for later uh, until very, very late in the course because it can get a little more complex and it's used uh, in another context that I want to introduce it in. So uh, these are the only two that we want to uh, take on for now.